It's not scary. All right, on your best behavior, okay? Here, hold that excuse. This is Delilah. Delilah Ray Dawkins. This is the the Dolphins baby. I know that story, but don't worry about it. 2019. 2019. That was amazing. How you guys doing? Y'all gonna talk to us? Just tell us how big of a win was this today? Uh, you know, with everything that we have gone through as as teammates and as players and as fathers, um, this this was a huge week. So. I usually like sugarcoat it and I say, oh, it's just another win. But but this one was was extremely special. Uh, it was extremely special coming into it. We understood that uh, we had to just get the job done and uh, we're and we're blessed. Three and was with us. And uh, it's a huge win. And any time that we can win in this league, it's huge. So, you know, we, we take it for what it is. Josh called that opening kickoff return spiritual. Talk about it. What were your emotions as you see all that? Yeah. Um, it was, you know, things like that just just don't happen, you know, and that just shows you that 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 God is real, and for that to start that game and like that, we were all like, all right, something is scarily weird, but uh, it's it's a it's a strong energy, and uh, this team, is just full of love, and you know, from the angels like that have been watching us, and Dham Spirit, and and all of those prayers, like it just seems like it's just overflowing to each and every one of us. And uh, it was it was a special moment. And he did it twice. So, you know, it's a it's a it's a unique thing, but you know, I'm glad and that you and noticed it and are aware of it because God is real. I mean, not only just as a football perspective, you go out and then you have this kind of shock that to the system like that. Um, it was such a tone setter. You could feel how you know how palpable it was in the stadium. Uh, it did feel almost like a like it was so surreal. Um, really, trajectory you know the trajectory of that was was paramount for us, and the the, the crowd was into it. The team you know it, it really interjected a lot of energy. Uh, and like Dion said, to see that twice, um, you know I think Naheem is you know he's we've always known he's a special returner, but that was I mean that was a career game for him, and, and it couldn't have happened for us as a team at a better time. On a typical day, you guys win, you wrap up seeding, it'd probably be a pretty exciting locker room. What are the emotions in there after this? Yeah, I would be lying to you if it, if it wasn't we're a little emotionally frazzled. I think the come down, uh, it's going to hit guys differently. Sure. Um, but it was such a it was such a thankful locker room, and uh, you know it was it was it was it was just unique. If there was any stiff, stiffness, anxiety, nerves going into this game, even as your team tomorrow. Like I like 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 truly think. Um, can, can I can I answer this and this question, please? Okay, and just real quick. Can I can I have like thirty seconds? Okay, thank you. Um, I like I think that with being a, a professional athlete, um, like you learn how to adapt to your situation and you learn how to, you know, build the the pieces of your environment to make the player and to make the, the individual. And uh, when you know drastic things ha happen, uh, you just have to kind of take it for in what it is and just try to adapt the best scenario. And uh, the emotions fly. The emo like the emotions go up and down. I got you, baby. I promise, okay? And uh, it just it just goes. But you know, like when you have great teammates and you have guys that you can lean on, um, it, it just makes everything easier. And like guys like Mitch and our entire like locker room like we have guys that we could just lean on and, and depend on that can just keep us up and it's uh and it's showing and the world sees it and we see it from a from a closer in-house view Mitch, uh, how, how uh, did smoke and josh connection shift them around that point in time in the game yeah i think the cool thing was we had some explosive plays uh first of all you can see a guy like smoke come back um you know he was he was such a presence in the locker room for so many years and then come back and it's just kind of seamlessly integrated back into his role. Um, and, and it was just really cool. It, it, when, when you have those explosive plays as an offense, um, it, it really, uh, I mean, it's just such a tone setter. And, 
and it, the the emotions run so high. Um, it was cool. It, it, it was just one of those really surreal things to see. And uh, he made such a good play on the football. Um, you know, Josh put it right in front of him, and Smoke did what Smoke does, and just you know, you know, just really took off. And uh, and you knew by the time the ball was there that there was no doubt that he was going to make that play. And um, we were happy to get off the field. Mitch, uh, you, guys, Mitch, you guys have been on this emotional roller coaster really all season, highs and lows, probably no more so than this week. But now that the playoffs are here, how prepared do you feel to get a good week of preparation? And not to say at all that you're forgetting about mm. tomorrow, but to try to really block almost everything out and, and get ready for the postseason. Yeah, we know that the postseason amplifies everything, emotions, uh, just kind of you, how you prepare throughout the week. Um, like you said, I don't think this is one of those things that it's a snap of the fingers you you forget. It's not fair to anyone. It's not fair to DeMar and, uh, or us, for that matter, to think that we can just kind of flip a switch and, and be okay from it. Um, I just kudos to the guys for really handling this as well as they possibly could. Um, you know, there was no script written for us. We just kind of were figuring it out on the fly, and I thought guys did an admirable job, picked up guys. Um, I know Dion picked me up a few times throughout this game, just kind of checking on me and, and, and vice versa. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll really lean into uh, somewhat of a normal week in regards to preparation and, uh, and come out and, and really kind of put our best foot forward against a really good team. You're looking at the guy orchestrated right here. Yeah, Dion. Um, I appreciate it, Mitch. Yeah. Um, like it just comes to a point where, where like you just want to just just give credit for um, or give or give credit to what you have to give and credit to, and uh, and this world is filled with so much energy. So for us, you know, putting that three up for uh, Demar, you know, it, like you can feel it and we can feel it, and uh, we're just saluting our brother. And uh, it just came to a moment in the game where, like we said, we did this. And then, you know, we just gave him a salute. And that's really just, just what that three was. It was just a salute to, to our brother that we knew was watching every bit of this game. And, uh, you know, just bringing that connection through his TV screen to, you know, this stadium, you know. everything, we know how close Nick and guys are. How has this incident, how has this week brought this team actually together to stay much more strong than them? That's a that's an emotional question, Mook. Um, I like I think it's you just take it for what it is. And situations like this just and remind you why life is so special. You know, why, you know, in a split second. In any incident, like you could be jogging, or you could be playing football, you you could be playing basketball, lifting weights, you know, like not any second is promised. And uh, for the situation to happen, it just opened up all of our eyes. Like it has made me become a better father. It has made me and become a better teammate, a better person. Um, to really just understand that you got to take life for and what it is, but you have to make every moment the best that you could possibly make it. Like we're all in here, t t like together. And we can't take this for, for uh, granted. You know, Mitch is and my teammate, and I constantly tell him all of the time what I tell him. And I won't say it now, but I tell him, uh, like, a special thing every single day. And he always laughs, and he's like, why do you always say that, Dion? And it's because I just try to bring that, that height to his brain to just don't forget, you know, this is special. Like, if we have dinner tonight at, at like, at 7, let's all go. Because next week, we might not all be able to, to be there. And uh, it's a special thing, and it has strengthened us. And uh, we're going to take it, and we're going to use this strength for as far as we have to drive with it, you know. And we're going to use it as, a, as an energy source because it is here, as we can all feel it. Yeah. So what everybody want to tell them. I think some people saw happen Monday night might have been thinking Buffalo – Yeah, like I said before, on that on that opening return, 
you just get, you give a look to the crowd and it was just different. And um, yeah, I think you brought up something about this community, just this resiliency. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like it in a span of eight to 10 months, just, um, you know, from one thing to another. And then as a team, you, you, I don't know if we feel like we're someone to look up to, but we're here to, to give support when we need to and just do our job and hopefully doing that is, you know, it gives you an escape in any way. Um, I think that's one thing that we, we lose sometimes is that, like Dion said, uh, not every day is promised in this league or in life in general. And uh, the opportunities that we're able you know, to, to play this game and to continue into January, it's, it's not lost upon us as a team. And uh, it's just, you know, I, I've, I've always felt this has been the best place for me in Buffalo and this community has just been, I think, just remarkable through all of this. And, uh, but I don't expect anything different, you know. It, uh, you, you don't want to take them for granted because they're always just so top notch. But um, you know, this whole season, it's just been kind of a doubling down on that. Mitch, you used the word last one. You used the word unscripted a bunch of times today. Last week, if someone told you what was going to happen on the opening kickoff, it kind of felt like that was scripted. Would you have ever believed that even this morning? Uh, you'd like to, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that's a great question. Um, you, you like to envision every game starting off like that, and, um, but it's been great. And I just want to say uh, thank you to Delilah for joining us. She's been, <laughs> she's been top notch and just been helpful. And uh, yeah, just like this, it's, been, it's just great to have family around. I think you, you know, everyone can attest to that. And it's just, uh, just like this, this has been a light to our press conference. So thank you, Delilah, for joining us. This has been, you've been so good. She's, she's three. Miami in 2019, Dion gets a call, probably in what, 9, 10 o'clock before that, that Saturday we're down there. Mm -hmm. We see him, we go to bed, we wake up, and we found out that not only between that he had gone, gotten a plane, gotten up here at 1 or 2 in the morning, shared this moment with him and his gal, introduced her to the world, and then came back at 9 o'clock and played a game. And uh, that was, I don't know if that was public knowledge, but that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And, right. yeah. and uh and look at her now. Grown. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Yeah, Thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>